welcome back to my channel. So today we're just gonna kinda do a really laid back day in the life. I don't really have a whole lot going on today, finally. <laughs> so um, I'm probably not gonna do a whole lot. Um, I think that we're just gonna kinda chill and I'm gonna catch up on some editing and my eyes watering. And um, just a couple of things I need to do to get the kids set up and ready for um, virtual learning, distant learning, homeschool, whatever you want to call it, starts next week. Tomorrow is Willow's birthday, so I have a couple things I have to take care of for that. And um, my one knee is really swollen and bothering me, so I'm kind of just going to relax. So if you aren't already subscribed, you need to subscribe. And let's get on into it. Hey guys, I wanted to show you something. It's a monthly subscription that I get, and this isn't sponsored by them or anything. I just wanted to share it with you. I hope I say this right. It's Ipsy. Um, a lot of you have probably already heard of it, and if I'm saying that wrong, please correct me because I don't know how to say it. I think it's Ipsy. But anyways, I get the just the regular glam bag. It used to be like $10.99 a month, but now it's like $12.99 a month, so I recently upped my subscription from the $12.99 a month to the five... Um, Sample size products, as you can see, they're sample size, to $25 a month for five, um, help me out guys, <laughs> full size products. <laughs> oh my God, I am so, I'm like exhausted from yesterday. But anyways, so this is what I got this month. I got, this is flesh, and this is like full size, but it is a, um, like a highlighter. I'm hoping I can kind of just use it like a regular foundation. Probably should have opened these prior to starting to film. Bear with me, you guys. Okay, this one's just tricky. Anyway. Okay, so that's the color of it. It's pretty. Um, it's a little bit darker in person than it's coming up on film, but it's like a highlighter. But I'm probably just going to try to use it as like a foundation. <laughs> I'm not really a big makeup, like foundation type person. Mascara, all day. Lip stuff, all day, but not. And this is, speaking of more, this is um, eyeshadow. And it is in the color Sombreo. And it is definitely oranger in person than it looks on here, guys. Um, I don't know if it's one that I'm gonna like. You know, sometimes you just get what you get and you can't really choose. But this is what they say would go best with my skin tone and my eye color. So we will try it because that's what they recommend because you fill out this little questionnaire um, to tell them like, you know, your skin color, your eye color, your hair color, etc. And then this is a lip gloss. And then this is, this is what I actually chose. You get five products, you get to choose one, and the rest they kind of just give you, compare, you know, on, by, going by your questionnaire. This is the um, gl Glam Glow Bright Eyes. It's supposed to, like, for help that anti-fatigue eye cream, because, I mean, we don't want them sleepy eyes, you guys. <laughs> and then this is a watermelon um, moisture-rich hydrating balm. I'm constantly losing my stuff to Rena. Plus, another thing I like about all these products from ISPE is they're all natural products, so. And then this is something I'm excited to try. It is a, um, like a lotion, and it smells really good. So I'm excited about that. My Humankind that I use and I love, I actually found them through the FabFitFun, but I stopped getting those because I just didn't. I didn't find them useful. Anyways, um, then this was an add-on that I had on. It was really cheap. A lot of times I'll have like flash sales and stuff. So you can get like a $15, $25 product for like $2.99. Um, this is just a nice clear lip gloss just to like give your, give some shine and you know, some plumpness, you know, so you don't have to, I'm not really big in the color. And then over here, this was the, I see that. This was the, like, some stuff that I added on that was on sale that I was, like, saying to you guys. So, I got this. I haven't tried any of this before. This is a hydrate, hydrant serum. So, I'm excited to try this because I'm having a hard time finding, like, a face cleanser that I'm really digging. So, I'm going to try that. And then there's this. I've used this, um like primer before and I really like it and I've used the makeup remover and I really like it so this is an eye serum as well um and then we have this it is a coffee cleanser so I'm excited to try that too and then we have this is your wake up call 
overnight regenerate facial treatment. So, I mean, dry and aging skin. It's not really dry, but it is aging. <laughs> oh, and then there was this one. This is an overnight mask. I, I prefer these over the other kind. I don't, I do not use the peel mask, no way. And then this is just a face wash. So a couple like really cheap sets. That was, it was two sets. I can't remember what came in what, um, but it was just two sets here and they weren't really bad. I think I paid like $15 for the two and probably not even that, maybe like 10, 10 or 15 for all of this here. So pretty cool. But I just want to share that with you guys. This is something I get every month that I really enjoy. I also got this from Joanne Fabrics. Um, they had a really, really big sale last week on their folk art chalk paint. Um, but as you can see, pretty much every single bottle I got leaked. These are normally, I think, what are they? $8.99 or $7.99 or something, or maybe even a little bit more. I can't remember. Darn it. I will find out and I'll put in the description box what they were. I don't even know if they're still on sale or not. Um, but I got them for, I think, $6.99 and they're the, holy cow, I'm pretty sure they're the eight ounce bottles. Yeah. So they're a pretty good, um, pretty good deal. I am kind of aggravated and disappointed that they all stink and leak because I don't really understand why they leaked. Um, but yeah, every color <laughs> leaked. Anyways, so I got Castle because I use like a lot of this. I really like it. Um, I got Moss. Um, it's actually Spanish Moss. I thought this would be a really pretty green to work with. This is like literally paint powder everywhere. Then I got Sage. Um, you can barely see it. This one probably leaked one of the worst which was a bummer because it was the one I was most looking for. I mean, there's still a ton in there, but it's just kind of aggravating, you know? Um, I don't think this one actually leaked, Silver Shadow. And then I also got, what is this one? Metallic Silver. I was hoping like, because I have like a galvanized one, but it is the spray paint. And when I paint in the house, obviously not spray paint. Then I got white Adirondack because I'm always using a lot of white. Somehow I have two sheepskin, I'm not really sure. But this one doesn't look too bad and it's pretty full. This one leaked a lot. So I'm not quite sure how that happened. But you can just see the paint like falling all over the place. And then this is just black, rich black. And it actually leaked a good bit too. It's pretty light. Um, and then this one is Java. So I got a whole bunch of acrylic paints yesterday from Walmart. Just like the little bottles. Because the girls like to paint too. I don't really let them use my chalk paint. Um, but then I got a 16 ounce bottle of elephant from Walmart as well. And it was 10, I think. So I like the elephant gray. So I, I like different spectrums of gray, as you can see. Then I got these ribbons from um, Joann's as well. They're usually $4.99. I can't remember the price, you guys. I will have to, I'll, I'll link the, um, the prices in the description box or I'll put them here on the screen. And then I got this cool looking green. I thought it was pretty. Um, I thought it'd be nice for like fall and then even, um, you know, every day because I have a lot of green going on. <laughs> As you can see, my sign fell, but I have a lot of green going on. So I thought this was nice. And then I'm not really a buffalo check person, at least not black and white, but I kind of liked this and it matches my throw over there. I just showed you. But like I said, they were all $5.99 except this one was $4.99 and they were on sale. I'm pretty sure for like two, three dollars a piece. Then I got this. It was just some different greenery. Um, and then I got some cute little pine cones. I really just wanted paint. And then I needed to like do so much for free shipping or something. And I love these. I wish I would have got more of these. These are absolutely gorgeous. And this stuff was all on sale. So um, I'm pretty sure these were $7.99. I think I only paid like two, $2.99, $3.99, something for them. But like I said, I will definitely put the price my sale price is in the description box, I promise. And then I didn't know, you guys, I wanted to show you this too really quickly. And no, my counters aren't sticky. Whitley got nail glue all over them. Uh -huh. Kids, anyways. I got this candle from um, Walmart, Fall Farmhouse. I got it because it's cute, it's fall, I like the color. I, does anybody else buy candles because you like the way they look? <laughs> and I love the color. It's kind of like a gray color. It was $3.33. It smells so good. I didn't know if I was going to like the smell, but I love it. And then I got these farm warm fall leaves 
because Bath and Body Works, I won't buy theirs so they're going on sale. And I don't know if they'll go on sale yet. But um, these smell super, super good. I don't like the color. That's why I just got them little so I can kind of like tuck them in somewhere and hide them. But um, they smell really good. So I thought that was a good comparison to like Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works version. But yeah, they smell really good. I want her life. You know that? I want your life. <laughs> He's so sweet. Huh, Stelly? Are you sweet? Yes, you are. Guys, I wanted to show you this throw I just got in the mail. I already put it over my chair. Actually, Willow put it over the chair. I hope you can kind of see it. It's really nice. It's really nice texture and fabric. And, um... The fringes, I don't know how that's going to hold up with the cats. This cat. Can you hear her purring? <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You're like, mama, I'm napping. <laughs> Anyways, I got this. It was on clearance of Jenna Fabrics. It was $29.99, and I got it for 11 And guys, my stand is not dirty. That is paint. <laughs> um, this is my flea market stand, and I just haven't painted it yet. Um, so that is paint. My mom was like, Mackenzie, you should at least wash this. It's, it's paint because you had it before and you painted it multiple colors. <laughs> so it's clean. It's just paint rough looking. <laughs> Stella. All right, I'll let you know. I want watermelon. I want watermelon. I don't know how to get watermelon. I want watermelon on the house. It's so not easy. It's just a big buffer. Oh. You caught it. <laughs> Thank goodness, huh? Yeah, I must <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> good thing you're a good builder and you can put it all back together, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Guys, don't mind the mess that is my yard and deck right now. But it is pouring. We've been under like a thunderstorm warning all day, and I guess finally trying to come. My yard is such a mess. Look, look, towels. Because we've been painting and crafting and doing all these projects and building stuff. I'm trying not to show you the finished products <laughs> that are in my house, but... It's so humid out. We need some storms. Are you guys ready for fall? I am so over summer. I'm ready for fall. And the thunder rolls. And the lightning strikes. I know, it's terrible. I'm so hoarse too. I think it's the weather, obviously. It's pouring. But um, our pollen has been really, really high lately. Um, so I don't know if that's like messing with my allergies. I had my hair down. I should have. I looked so much better earlier. But it's been so humid today that it just kind of. But anyway, so I apologize for the look. I didn't realize how bad it was before I flipped the camera. And I don't have my tripod either. So I wasn't prepared for this moment. But it just started pouring and thundering. So I came out on the deck. 
on our back deck. I absolutely love it. Do you guys like to just like go sit outside and like listen to the rain and watch the rain? So nice. I love it. This is like one of the main reasons I wanted a roof on my deck. My Austin, my Austin, my awesome husband built this deck for me. Woo, it's really raining, guys. <laughs> Holy smokes. Can you guys see that? I don't even know if you can hear me. Hopefully you can. Well, this will be a really boring video, right? You'll just see my mouth moving. But anyways, um, he built this whole deck himself by hand, and he built the roof as well. He did have some help from a couple buddies, like here and there. Woo, it's coming! <laughs> but I think in the long run, I'm gonna have my, uh, I'm gonna have him like screen it in, so like no bugs or bees can build nests. Although we haven't had any problems this year, but then maybe like the cats could come out here and get some fresh air. I don't know. I'm so shaky. I'm sorry, I should have brought my tripod. I just wanted to show you the rain. I'm so swollen today. I don't know what it is. I think sometimes, like, the medications I have to take, and if I'm, like, really, really, really active, my body, like, doesn't handle it well. I don't know. It's really weird. It's like my joints and stuff swell up, which could be part, like, partially because of the rain, too. It's like my body tells me like two or three days before it rains that it's it's gonna rain soon so the kids still haven't found me they're in there <laughs> brenna was playing legos and the other two i don't i don't know what i wish i wouldn't have stopped recording because as soon as i did it like let out the biggest crash of thunder it's insane but I'm going to head in because I don't want the girls to be um, freaked out. Like, where did mommy go and it's stormy? I'm peeking. You can't open your eyes until it's in your hand. Open. What is it? I don't know. Do you want to open the ball or do you want to get everything out of the box and then open the I think you should open, open the, ball. the ball. Open the ball. It's more suspenseful. It's more suspenseful. That means you have to wait for the other one. So I'm sure you're thinking this is a bit of a strange way to give your children their birthday gifts, but it was actually the next day. It was the day after Willow's birthday. Her gifts arrived a little bit late, and I asked her how what she wanted to do. She wanted me to wrap them. She just wanted them, and she just wanted them. They're to the point where they are over the wrapping paper, and they just want to get to the gifts. Plus, with these LOLs, it is like a whole unwrapping all on its own. What should I choose? What should I choose? What should I choose? The smallest thing in there. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Out goes Y-O-U. Okay, close your eyes. Oh, I don't know. Because they're... Ugh, it's so hard to choose what to give her. Hmm. Close your eyes. Think we'll go. Oh, my God. I think we'll go with this. Yeah, you stand in front of me so I can't. Yeah, close it. your eyes. Keep your eyes super <clears throat> duper closed. Oh my. You should turn it the other way. No. Ready? One, two, three. Open. Open. <laughs> which you don't know which one it is. Okay, I'll open from the back. So don't, yeah, don't flip it over because it tells you. Do you want scissors? Do you want yeah, some I scissors? Muscles. I got muscles. No. Okay. Do you want some scissors? Scissors. Ryan, go get scissors. Oh, yeah, send the three. Oh, I can't get up. I can't Are you okay? Well, I, can't get up, I can't look in the iPad because then I might be able to see, like, on the side. Yeah, don't look in the iPad.
like Santa Claus. It was my box of toys. Is your eyes closed completely? 100% closed. Oh my god. I'm excited. Don't peek. I'm excited about this good. Open. <laughs> she speaks us. Then there's the beat out. She doesn't know what to think. What's <laughs> <laughs> heavy? What's heavy? This is that's probably what controlled controlled the weight. <laughs> I like what LOL is doing now, how they're getting into like this stuff versus the little stupid dolls. Like, I don't mind buying it. I know, but it's not like those little $25 a ball for a little water bottle shoes and an outfit. But it can come with like a doll with like up something. Like this is. For like that much. That was probably it's a lot. Like $300 Yeah, I would ever spend $300 on a birthday gift. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, those are expensive. Alright, careful with the scissors. I am not even kidding when I tell you it took her 45 minutes to open all of this. But I think that's one of the reasons she likes these surprise dolls so much is because it is just constant unboxing, unwrapping. Um, but she's been collecting them for about four years and she has so many and so many accessories and she's absolutely obsessed and now she's getting my little one Rena into them as well. So there are LOL everything everywhere all the time. So here you see my husband lighting a birthday cake. And it is in the living room because it was a complete surprise. She did not think she was going to get a birthday cake this year because she had chose to go to Sweet Frogs and Dairy Queen on her actual birthday. Um, and then Sweet Frog was a couple days later. But, um, of course, I wasn't going to let a birthday go by and not give her a birthday cake. So, she was coming out of the shower and we were waiting on her. And this is Whitley informing me that she decided she was going to blow dry her hair. Um, Willow. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Willow. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Are you surprised? Really? Ready to eat it up. See, Ready, you were gonna have Nutella and chocolate. I told you you weren't gonna eat it. <laughs> I, I didn't say anything about the cake because I, I was thinking I wasn't going to say anything about the cake to Renner. I knew she would. I might. Well, I had to tell her. Uh, and then she still didn't care. She still wanted to tell her. I definitely want to. So it's not nice. for now. I'm no, it's been sitting on mommy's desk. I never even noticed it. Oh, really? Oh, it's rainbow in the It's inside. unicorn cake. Whoa, it's crazy. Wow, it's blue and pink. Mm. I remember mommy tried to make me a unicorn cake. Yeah, well. We didn't trickle that well. <laughs> really? really? We don't need to talk about that, Dad. <laughs> You're getting it ready. I just come from school and there's... Jesus. Holy smokes. You don't want that big? That's yours. Okay, I'll leave it. <laughs> Are you eating all that? No, that's mine. Oh, we have more. We could all three have maybe a slice. Well, maybe. <laughs> So I feel that we had yet another successful birthday. Whitley and Willow's birthdays are back to back. They're born 25 months apart, Whitley in July and then little Willow in August. Oh my gosh, I love that smile. Um, so having their birthdays one month apart in the middle of summer can be a little bit challenging sometimes. So we used to just combine them, but now that they're getting older, they want to do their own thing. And Willow definitely takes after me and she would rather shop, which is fine with me because we kind of like the same stores. <laughs> so that's exactly what we did. We shopped all day. Don't know if daddy liked it so much, but that's okay. She was super excited this year because she didn't have to go to school on her birthday. Um, school always starts around 
her birthday. So she's either getting ready to go to school or she's already in school. <laughs> um, but anyways, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. And I hope you enjoyed Willow's little birthday adventure. And please make sure you subscribe if you're not already and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. And give this video a big thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.